time to talk about tips and tricks using the Sony A6000's built-in flash. Like many other cameras, the Sony A6000 has a built-in flash. Now, what makes this flash so cool is that it can articulate back, which gives you the ability to bounce a flash off the ceiling. Now, when I run a gun and I'm inside, I typically use an external flash like this right here. Now, this flash is every bit as big as the Sony A6000, if not bigger, so Needless to say, when I'm out and about, I typically don't have this external flash with me. But the benefits of an external flash are many. They give you power to light subjects. They give you the ability to bounce off the ceiling. You can also rotate to the left and to the right, and that gives you the ability to bounce off sidewalls. Now, I didn't really want to lose the ability of an external flash, so I came up with some other creative ideas that allow me to bounce the flash and diffuse the flash and do all kinds of other cool things. By the way, this is my diffuser for the external flash. It does a great job, but again, you can see it's relatively big, although it's light. Um, so, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to use something just like this. And if you're looking at this and you're saying, what is it? This is tin foil. Just about everybody has a little tin foil lying around. So. I'm going to show you how to use tin foil to bounce flash, and I'm going to also show you how to use this. This is toilet paper. That's all this is. It's a couple of little pieces of toilet paper, and we'll use this to diffuse the flash. So what we're going to do is we're going to step through some sample shots using these tools right here, and we're going to see the results of those shots. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I have my Sony A6000 sitting in front of me here on a table, and I've adjusted the camera that's shooting this video to properly expose this shot, so hopefully we can see it well. But this room is relatively dark, so we can take advantage of the flash. What I have in front of me is just a couple of subjects here that we're going to photograph, and one of them is Shrek on the left and then a small statue on the right. And what I'm going to do is I'm in manual mode right now, and I have this on, let's take a look here, I have this on a, a setting of 1 80th of a second, and I'm shooting at an f-stop of 4.5, and my ISO is set to auto, which is probably going to dial in at around 200, which I'm fine with. So, nonetheless, let's go ahead and see what the image looks like with the flash straight up. So this is just a basic composition. The flash comes up and you're ready to take your photo. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, as you can see, that image is relatively harsh. It does have light, but you see the shadows behind it. And it's really just not uh, that pleasant of an image. So uh, what I want to do before we start messing with the bounce is I want to take advantage of the diffuser and the diffuser in this case is just some tissue paper so this is just two squares that's folded over once and if you want more diffusion you can fold it over again and again and again and just go from there so this is just folded once let's go ahead and take that same shot and see if there's much of a difference so um, it looks like the shadows are not as harsh and the light is even diffused. So I'm going to go ahead and fold over one more time. So now there's effectively four sheets of tissue here. And let's go ahead and shoot again and see what happens. Okay, it's even softer. So keep in mind that this is a great alternative to try and diffuse the light. If you have nothing else to uh, use to diffuse the light, just head to the bathroom and hopefully there's one nearby. So now this is folded over yet again. So this is the equivalent of eight sheets and let's fire off one more time. And you can see that the light uh, looks even better in my opinion. So that is what, uh, you know, this, this is what happens when you use some toilet tissue to help diffuse the built-in flash. 
and I think it does a great job. So let's talk about bounce because one of the greatest benefits of this built-in flash is the ability to pull it back. So I'm just going to pull it back and um, let's go ahead and see what this does to the image. So I pull back with my index finger, I use my middle finger to uh, hit the shutter and here we go. Okay, now I really like the way that image looks because it helps to spread out the light even more. So I think it looks really nice. Now if you wanted to, you could also do a bounce and use a diffuser. So this is just folded over one time and I'm going to lay that over and let's see what this looks like. So yeah, I don't know if there's a huge difference in that. You can kind of play with that and see what works for you. Now, one thing I've done, and I've used this quite a bit, and it works out very well, is the tin foil. So, with the flash up, it's pointing forward, but let's say you want light to come in from the right side or the left side of the image. It helps to create a more dramatic look, in my opinion. What I'm going to do is take this tin foil, and this is just folded over a few times. So, I'm going to make this flat, as you can see. Now, you can bend this, you can angle it if you want but I'm going to put this at about a 45 degree angle to the flash. So it's going to look like this right here. And I'm going to take the picture and let's see what this looks like. Now I really like that look as well because you can see that the light is coming in from the right side and it just makes for a nice looking image in my opinion. So. With the tin foil, we can do the other side, and we could angle it this way. And let's see what kind of look we get. Now before I take this, I will say that to my left, there's a monitor over here. And the way this is set up is I have walls right here, and a wall there, and of course a ceiling up top. So it's something to think about is how close your subject is to the walls. But let's go ahead and angle it the other way, and let's see what kind of look we get here. Ah. That's a nice looking picture as well. I really like that. I mean, I like the way that you can play with the light and you have some flexibility, all with the use of a little tin foil and some tissue paper. And again, with the built-in flash, if you're running and gunning and you don't have either of these nearby, just remember, you can use your index finger, pull that flash back and get a nice bounce out of it. I really like the idea of using a couple of household items to enhance the already great flash capabilities of the Sony a6000. So if you're looking for some additional creativity and to get some additional bounce and diffusing capabilities, head to the bathroom and grab some toilet tissue and head to the pantry and grab some tin foil. So I hope you liked this video and I hope it helped you out. If you really liked it, give it a thumbs up help share it. And if you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's called The Real World. More often than not, I'll post videos about photography and technology. That's really my space. But you never know what you're going to get. I might also post videos about automotive maintenance and home ownership. I call it The Real World for a reason, because it's what the real world throws at us. So until the next video, take care of yourself and be safe.